Hello and welcome to PLCCable.com. In this tutorial we're going to be covering hardware configuration of a Micrologix 1100 and also an OF4, a 1762 OF4 which is an analog output module. This will go the, be the same for any module that you plug into the 1100 and you can continue up however many that you have. First thing we're going to do is open up RS Links and this is I already have the cable plugged in which is on COM2 you can see all this through our other tutorials if you need uh, more information in it I'm just going to run through real quick on on the configuration comes up successful we're, at this time we're also going to add the Ethernet IP because we're going to be doing that as well And then these are our two drivers. So now that we've configured RS Links, we're going to open up RS Logix. And this is the program that we're going to get to here in a second. First, I want to go ahead and uh, we'll open up a new, which is here. You can go File, New. Scroll down to Micrologix 1100. first thing we're going to do is the IO configuration so you can double click on that we're going to read the IO and we already have the driver set up that we created which is the DF1 driver click on read IO and that added our 1762 OF4 along with the Micrologix that we had in there. Now that's done with our hardware configuration. That's all you have to do to set them up. Now you can go back in and set up each individual properties if you want. You can do it manually, but that's to me the easiest way. Next we're going to do the channel configuration. If you take this off of boot enable and put in your address now you need to find out what your local IP address is Let's see if I can uh, the IP address of this machine go down here oh, properties um, oh that's this this is something good to know this is how you would set it up for a static IP address right now we have this one just to obtain it automatically and it gets it from the router um, Okay. This is the address of the machine that we're at here. 192.168.09. The subnet is 255.255.255.0. So it can communicate to anything within this range up to is from 0 to 255. So if these three are the same, any from from zero to two fifty five we can communicate to. If this was also zero, it means we could communicate from anywhere one nine two one six eight and then any one of these two sets 
we could commu also communicate to. There's something else good to know. So now that we know our IP address, and when actually we could have figured that out in RS links as well, because when we did the configuration, it showed our IP address here. That's another another way that you can see it. So because of I, I know the other static IP addresses that I have set, I'm going to make this one a static address of 44. 192.168.044. Subnet of 255.0. And we're going to leave this off. Oh, thank you, Windows. Oh, just a pop up from Windows. And then we're going to apply this and say okay <coughs> um, I think the 44 was the same as the other one so what we could do is download this but because I already have the program wrote I'm gonna open up that program and we'll take a look at what it is in there so I'm not gonna save any of that but let's open this up and take a look at it The IO configuration this one here we're using the OF4 so all that is the same in the current program that we have the driver is configured to DF1 automatically on this one and the static IP address is 69 that we're actually using on this one so we're gonna leave it at 69 that's a good number I know the other things that are out there and that's not being used and that's something that you might want to check with your IT department to make sure that you're not going to conflict with anything else that's on your local network so we can just download this apply because we're changing the the IP address and that's what that was about yes we want to go online and now because we set the IP address we can go back here and we can see it here this is with the USB cable this is the DF1 driver and then this here is the Ethernet IP and as soon as I plug in as soon as I plug in the Ethernet, the CAT5 cable then you see that this one comes up and this is a uh, comes up and it shows it up in here revision it's a B12 is what it's flashed to and that's it as far as uh, configuring and you can go to run here now if you want and everything will light up you turn on the two IP ad or two inputs here that makes your timer and all this is doing is just flashing um, the lights on our trainer and then we're scaling the analog output here and then sending it to our output which is a a 0 to 10 volt DC meter that we're actually running it to. That's it. Hope this helps. Have a good day.